Hello, welcome back to channel two. I've got something to unbox here. I've got a couple of things to unbox, but one of them's not here yet. The, uh, I've got a big box coming from, I've got Paul's big box is <laughs> going to be arriving later this afternoon. So I'm gonna record this first part because I've got this box to open here. I've also got this little one here to open. So we'll open that one first, but what I'll do is I'll record this bit first and then I'll, uh, I'll turn the cameras back on when Paul's big box arrives on my bench and um, we'll open Paul's, Paul's big box. The charity thing all went okay. Um, I, I, fa I finally managed to uh, get all of the parcels so uh, sent off to David and Ian. Um, it's really sweet actually that both of them were won by people in Scotland, which is I just it's really nice. There's so many. I mean, the Scottish stereotype is the um, you know make wire from a penny, <laughs> um, but. Uh, not in my experience. This I um, I am a massive fan of Scotland and the Scottish people in general. They are, in my experience, some of the kindest, warmest, and most generous people in the world. Um, and they live in a beautiful country. And I got married there, um, which is I think that's the only time I've ever been there. Anyway, I digress. Guess where I got married in Scotland? Answer in the comments. Um, let's open this one first. This is from the Pie Hut. Wait, and it, this is um, something I've used some of the coffee donations to to fund, and it's a bunch of Pi Zero Two Ws for the Lazarus storms. The Lazarus storms. I haven't got the Pi storms yet. They're on their way. JLC PCB. Mind you, they are assembled, so I, I have to give them a little bit of. Uh, leeway because um, I, I made an order fairly similar times with JLC PCB and with PCB Way, and um, the PCB Way one was super fast. Did a really good job there, PCB Way. Uh, but like I say, the the ones from JLC PCB are assembled, which I wouldn't normally do. I wouldn't normally order something and not assemble it myself. But I have to recognise that there's a lot of work to be done with all of these charity auctions. So let's um, let's not worry about that now. Let's worry about what's in this box. This is from uh, Yasek from American Retro Dot Shop, and he uh, he said that he him and Stephen, I think, is the person who created this thing, Stephen. Or Steve, I, I'm sorry, I should really look that up. I'll probably put something in the, dis the description once I um, find out exactly what's in here because he um, said that they they put something together for me. Ooh. Ooh, I know what this is. Oh my word. <gasps> Dear More Fun Making It, I'm writing to express my sincere appreciation for your fantastic YouTube channel dedicated to retro computers. I've been a follower since your early days and I constantly find myself glued to your videos. Oh, thank you. Your passion for this fascinating era of technology is truly contagious. The way you showcase the history behind the machines and bring back childhood memories is not only informative but also incredibly entertaining. Oh, I try. As a token of my appreciation and to support your continued efforts, my part partner Stephen Slabberhood. I that is a tricky. I mean, I've got a tricky-ish surname, but I think you beat me on this one, Stephen. The developer of the Retro Chip Tester Pro, and I wanted to make a contribution of a Retro Chip Tester Pro version kit for your channel. Oh my God. This tool helps diagnose and repair faulty chips, which I hope will be a valuable addition to your restoration projects. Knowing your viewers' interest in retro hardware restoration, I believe a video showcasing the Retro Chip Tester Pro and its functionalities could be a great hit. Steve and I are open to collaborating on such a project if you're interested, certainly. Uh, your dedication to preserving and sharing this important part of computing history is truly valuable and I, I believe it deserves recognition. I'm choking. Um, I eagerly await your next video adventures and I hope this contribution allows you to continue creating such high quality content. 
Thank you once again for all the hard work and amazing content you provide. Keep up the fantastic word. Best regards, Yasek. Thank you, Yasek. And um, yeah, AmericanRetro.shop is where this came from. Um, and that is, I am blown away. These are not cheap. I will tell you exactly how I feel about uh, the Retro Chip Sester Pro in a couple of words, and that is Rolls Royce. If uh, if you want the the ultimate tool to test um, to test chips in the course of making a retro repair, the Retro Chip Chip Tester Pro is is the one that you want. The Swiss Army knife for retro fans. And it, it can do so much. These were featured a couple of years ago on lots of channels like Adrian's Digital Basement and Yen Beta and Noel's Retro Lab. And I watched all of those videos at the time and lusted after one of these, but I just, I mean, I was just starting out in what I'm doing now and I could not afford to buy one of these. The only downside to having something that can do everything is you have to pay for it. And it is, expensive but there's no way that they could sell these any cheaper than they do and and there's the added problem of living in the uk these uh sold by american retro shop also by um i believe Stephen um from his etsy store but i'm not sure um i don't have links to that um in somewhere in europe i believe germany and the cost of importing just the motherboard to the UK was always a massive stumbling block and it, and it just stopped myself. And I know that uh, Lee Smith from Lee Smith's Retro, uh, Lee Smith's workshop was also uh, interested in one of these and he, he just could not justify the, the price for the added, added costs of import duties and, you know, that the craziness that we went through recently that if I mention on here, then the um, then YouTube will ignore this video. <laughs> oh, what are these? What are these? That has really made my day. A full kit. I was, I, we, I spoke to Yasek about this and, um, he uh, and uh, you know we were talking about the retro chip tester pro, and I said I explained that it was just something that I couldn't afford to buy myself because um, because of the import duties and um, problems with that. And um, when he said there was something on the way, I thought he was going to send me the motherboard and maybe the uh, controller chip. It comes with this. Um, what is it? An, an app mega chip and that's a big chunk of the cost and ah uh, you know if i'd got that i could then afford to buy all of the parts myself and we, it would have been a pain to put the bill of materials together myself and still you know it's still quite a lot of money to to do the rest of it it's the daughter board for that i think that's a power conversion daughter board yeah lm 7805 and a 7905 so yeah um they this is just fantastic. This is honestly I'm going to make a huge difference. That I recently had, I can't show it right now, but I've, I've just, I haven't completed actually. I'm in the middle of uh, creating the next video, which is an electron repair. And I was sent, I can show you that bit. I was sent um, some broken and trashed, <laughs> Electron motherboards by Dave, Dave Hitchens, and the um, this one was the best one. This is a, little, a tiny spo spoiler for the video, uh, and I stripped all of the chips off of it and tested them in my TL eight six six two Mini Pro programmer, which can test logic chips, but it's not perfect. Not it doesn't catch every fault on uh, testing logic chips. Uh, it's not its primary function, and I, I was thinking, oh, if only I had a retro chip tester pro 
with which to test, test all of these chips. And now I've got one. So yeah, that, look forward to um, a build video and a discussion because there's been quite a lot of time in the two years since they uh, first appeared on the scene. There's quite a lot of, has, uh, quite a lot has happened um, with this. I know that there, at the start, the, the amount of chips that it was able to test in its database was a certain amount you know in the hundreds and i know it's now in the thousands so there's a lot that's happened um so maybe it's time to talk about it again and uh, make people aware thank you yasek that is so kind and and thank you for the really kind words i keep all of the um the letters that i get i'll keep it in here for now but all of the letters i get from people that um that thank me I, I keep in my folder i've got a folder with all um with all board schematics and um, chip pinouts all printed out. And in the back of there, I keep all of my thank you letters, things like um, uh, this one from Ian that came through recently. This is in a pile over here waiting to go into that folder, but I keep them. And it's really nice for me when I'm, when things are getting tricky and I need a little bit of extra motivation, uh, it's really nice for me to read some of those comments because um, it's you know it's things like that that uh, give you the motivation because this is a lonely lonely job it's not a job this is a lonely hobby making YouTube videos because you talk to a camera and it doesn't talk back but yeah it's so nice thank you that could be the end of this video um, but there could be a little bit more wait and see <laughs> you know